morning, Chargers. This is Speak West today, Thursday, November 5th. I'm Aubrey Miller. Today's lunch menu includes chicken crispitos, Italian cheese penne, and sweet and sour chicken with rice. You don't want to miss the Graphic Design Club meeting today. They are having a guest artist visit and present her work to students. The presentation will be in Ms. Podraski's room, A111, from 3 to 5.30. K-Club will meet today at 3.15 in the Lett Center to discuss the regional conference. In recent Charger debate news, congratulations to novice debaters and freshman Jillian Witzke and Oliver Bidwell for placing 8th at the Highland Park Debate Tournament. Also, congratulations to sophomore, sophomore Charmaine, Kiomko, and Brescia Banks for finishing 7th in the novice division at Manhattan. Finally, congratulations to senior Madison Lowry for receiving the 2nd place Individual Speaker Award in the Open Division at Manhattan. We have the first of the scholarship award winners for the year. Ellen Wenger, Jamie Cox, Arlene Quintana, Diana Calderon, and Alexis Kelly have won the McKinley Burnett Scholarship from the Topeka NAACP. This is a $1,000 scholarship. Our Topeka West College Financial Aid Night will be held tonight at 7 p.m. in the band room. Information on completing the free application for federal student aid will be given by Gail Palmer, Director of Financial Aid at Washburn University. The presentation will benefit parents and students seeking higher education at any institution, not just Washburn University. The presentation will last approximately 40 minutes with a question and answer session to follow for those who wish to stay. Please contact Ms. Kaiser in the Counseling Center with questions. There will be a girls basketball preseason meeting Friday at 3.15 and B207. All girls planning to try out should attend. The ELC, along with the 21st Century Grant, is excited to announce that we will be offering extended homework help services on Sunday evenings this semester. The ELC will be open to all Speak West students from 6 to 8.30 p.m. on the following dates, November 8th, 15th, and 22nd, December 6th, and 13th. Students, please take advantage of this opportunity because if it is not utilized, it may not be offered again. There will be a meeting for all freshman boys interested in playing basketball this season on Wednesday, November 11th at 3.15 in the cafeteria. This meeting is mandatory. If you have any questions, see Coach Metzke or Coach Hunter. There will be a parent meeting for all freshman boy basketball players on Thursday, November 12th at 7 p.m. in the gym. There will be a meeting for all sophomore, junior, and senior boys wanting to play basketball this season on Thursday, November 12th at 3.15 p.m. in the cafeteria. This is a mandatory meeting. If you have any questions, see Coach Metzke or Coach Hunter. Remember, all boys and girls who did not play a fall sport and do not have a physical on file need to do so before practice begins November 16th. No physical, no practice. The always fun and exciting dodgeball tournament is right around the corner. It will be on November 13th. All proceeds from this event will benefit post-prom. Entry forms are now available in D-Building office from Mr. Carroll or Ms. Bartow. Each dodgeball team should have at least six players, but no more than eight. Cost is $5 per player. You must be at least of high school age or older. Adults are welcome. Entry deadline is November 12th. If you don't like to play, that's okay too. Spectators are welcome at the event at a cost of only $2. Remember the proceeds of this tournament benefit post prom. Great fun, great cause, get out there and dodgeball. Looking ahead to the activities of this week, today the all-important financial aid night will be held. Saturday, Topeka West will host a maybe basketball tournament. That's it for me. Have a great day, Chargers.